All right, let's go over your work from part two. Before I show you the answers though, I want you to take note of something very, very important. And that is when you submit your work to me for this thought primer, it is very important that you indicate where you encountered a contradiction in your indirect, indirect truth table for any argument that you determine to be valid, okay? The reason this is important is that where you begin making your logic, uh, logically necessary deductions is going to determine most times where you run into a contradiction. So if you begin in one place and somebody else begins in another, you may wind up with a contradiction in very different parts of the argument. So you wanna indicate very clearly, either by highlighting the contradiction or drawing a circle around it, where you encounter that contradiction in your truth table. Okay. Number one, you're gonna to wanna to highlight where you ran into a contradiction because that argument is valid. So somewhere in your truth table is a contradiction, draw a circle around it or highlight it. Number two is invalid, so you deduced all of the logically necessary truth values without contradiction. Number three is valid, so make sure you mark where you encounter that contradiction. Four is invalid. And five, another argument, you're gonna to wanna to indicate where you encountered a contradiction because number five is valid. 